Hello. Hi, Elena. How are you doing, Elena? I'm all right. Good. That's what I heard. That's excellent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Feeling a lot better. But Good. I figure I'd still uh, keep my distance. Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, I think tonight's uh, tonight's exercise. We're going to go through. Uh, we're sitting here at the beginning of April, or actually the second week of April. We've got about less than a month to get to the town meeting. But yeah, and I wanted to spend uh, some time tonight. Oh, first let's go to the door. Um, we turned the camera on. Did everybody have a chance to read Peg's minutes? Hopefully. Yep. Yeah. And uh, do I have a motion to accept those minutes? I'll make a motion to accept them as written. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, your meetings are now officially recorded. All right. Uh, the select board. Uh, Meeting in the article uh, that went through finalized, I guess, last week, right? Yeah. Uh, Mike, you want to give us an update on that? Because I wasn't there and just kind of looking to get a sense of. Um, well, Karis Council's given any all feedback, approved it, signed off on it, so it's it's there. We've uh, grouped all the associated articles together, so it starts around number 20, 21, something like that. So it's midway down the article. Uh, and the ballot uh, language was approved as well, so that should be on set for Okay, so we're going to check that. Good. Good. Uh, was Pin Con at the meeting? They were, yep. Were there any sense or position from them? <clears throat> no, there really wasn't a discussion on the warrant. Well, I think it's probably going to happen in this meeting of the next, I guess. Okay. Yeah. No discussion on it. I was offered to go visit them, but I'd ask anybody to select board to team who have to bump into them to get a reading on it. Okay. They're there tomorrow night. They should be there tomorrow night. Okay, good. Will that topic come up? Uh, it's not on the agenda that I saw. It might be a sad conversation. Okay, that'd be good. I'm just trying to get a sense of support from them. Thank you. So it looks like we're all set for the warrant and the uh, financial impact of taxpayers. I know uh, Jody sent some mail back and forth, and I sent some mail out, and Mike, we exchanged mail. Mm -hmm. Trying to close in on the numbers so we can kind of start speaking the same mission. Yep. Uh, any update on that for your side? Um, I spoke to Jody. I just know she's, she's focused on budget for tomorrow night, but 78 per per $500,000 is her targeted number that she sent that email to you. Yep, yep. Uh, and she thought she'd have some uh, information put together for you in the next uh, day or two. Okay. I understand the budget. You got to get through that. Now, I, I would probably just send Jody a note and say specifically, what are you looking for your presentation? I'm assuming those grids might be something. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, chart, which charts, pictures did you want to, did you like that you'd want to include if possible? That rolls to the next conversation. We're going to build in the chart. I mean, I think we can all. But I just, I just, to being, she's, She's juggling right now. So yeah. if there's specific things that you'd like to in terms of presentation, I'd give her a heads up what you're looking for. I think some of the fall off and fall on rates was interesting. Also, how we protected the, the overall budget so that we don't eat up all the money to begin with. And there's some room in the budget for future operations that would be good. Uh, I forgot what chart that was, but it, I, it was impressive. I think right it was the, the debt level. Yeah. Yes, so, debt level. So the back end of that will go down if we're bringing the up. Yeah. Um, so it'll probably look nicer. Yeah. I imagine. I know we moved it up a little bit to, you know, keep it going to bring it in to get keep the money in the pipeline to move it down. Yeah, I mean, the 178 is less than we started with. It's more than what you talked about last week. But last week was really extreme. Yeah. But it, yeah. I didn't do the balancing that we needed to do. Well, I think the balancing is excellent. I think uh, that's where we should be. I mean, it, it provides other operations and organizations to yeah. operate in this town rather than just go from crisis to crisis. And my understanding is we'll need, we'll need that for the 24th when we have the open house. We do have a presentation on the 18th at the library, but I don't think we need it for that. That's the trustees. I think Elena is gonna come. Are you gonna come with me too? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna come with me too? And then we have another one um, at the end of the month, uh, both at the library. Yeah. 
So if we have, it's, I think it's most important that we have it for the open house. So we can cut Cody a little slack. I th yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Well, no, think seriously. You know, but that's plenty of time. Two weeks away. Yeah, we should we should be fine with that. And I think Jody is close to that. I think everybody's kind of circling around the investment strategy or the loan strategy, I guess. So I think we'll have to do that thing. Okay. Okay. Page two of the things that I put at the corner there for the new revenue that was uh, and I sent it to you electronically. Uh town meeting presentation and working plan. I just something together. We cranked out a lot of presentations over the past month and a half. But the piece that I'm uh, trying to do is kind of come up with the major topic bullets and flows. I'm not married to this sequence or agenda. It was more of a uh, brain dump that I did. Uh, and essentially, I think historically we need to go back to history a little bit, 37 years. 33 years, 17 years, and other buildings built. I added on. Everybody's got one. Yes. Oh, okay. So next right. Okay. Um, population growth between 1,000 to approximately 1,800. It's like 1760 something, I think. Uh, more families are, and organizations are utilizing our services. And that's the food pantry, that's the fuel assistance, and all the other activities. And the trend keeps growing. And the nice thing about something around today's support, uh, cannot support today's needs. Just some quick bullets. I don't want to dwell on this, maybe a slide and a half. Uh, tell me if the, you've gone through these more than I have, folks here who've been active. I don't know how much we want to go into with the slide presentation. Four, five, six. Is what I'm thinking. For an open house? Not for the open house. No, he's talking about town the town meeting. meeting. Town meeting. How much time do you think we should take? Because yeah. people get bored. And yeah, I don't think the presentation should be more than 10 minutes. 10, okay. minutes. Yeah, yeah, 10 minutes. minutes. All right. Thoughts, I think people are going to say, get on. Right. And hopefully they've at least heard about it and know something particular. Will there be handouts at the town meeting so that people can refer to it? Um, um, just a slide presentation? Well, maybe if we come up with like a one page that you're talking about. It's something that they yeah. can refer to you after you want to get it out ahead of time and show it there. Let me to print it all out and get people to look at it. It's going to be on the screen, which is going to be pretty big. So, but if we get it out ahead of time, because they're just going to read it two minutes before the thing, anyways, before you're showing it. If you wanted to come up with information, they might. I don't know well, I was hoping that, that on, at our next meeting, we could go actually go through the slides and say this is, you know, next to the last drive. <laughs> Is it going to be pretty much what you put together at the open house? Because you could just. It's kind of like the open house could. Open house was just an agenda list of things. I didn't have any substance. I think I need to put a little substance around the slide. Let's say, do you want to do a trial run at the open house and then you're ready to down meet it? Yeah. So you, you want to make it available for people to have? Have you seen the packets that have been going on so far? By chance? Uh, I emailed that out. I don't you want me to give them? Yeah. He needs, I got, I got a couple too. Yes. You email me. I have it. I just haven't. I just did that. I was going to do it. Thanks for coming with me to do a question. I didn't have much of this. Yeah. Yeah. Your partner. Thank you. I'm playing. Because if we have 20 of the 21st on the list. Yeah, the first thing in the first 11 is one vote. Oh, it is. Oh, so it'll be it'll move pretty quick. <clears throat> All right. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I am. Yes. Thank you. Basically, this is the presentation we want for to be a poster. Actually, right? into a slideshow with right. posters. Just real quick on both this and this, in terms of your challenges, there's no mention of food pantry that I saw or the emergency management. I'll really highlight that. Yeah. It's in here, but it's not on here. Okay. But in, it is in there. Okay. Actually, the emergency center is supposed to that list. Okay. Food pantry. And it just, I didn't notice it on the handout that I had. No, I didn't. I was going to ask about it. Yeah, it's on. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, nice. uh, he did these right for us. Yeah. Are we. Deceiving people by showing that extra parking lot and that road, and we're not doing that, right? Not the road, and no, that road. extra parking lot. 
I might have a more. We could probably get a no. Good point. I just don't want people to be mad yeah, when they when it shows up and there's just yeah. a road that goes to the senior center and there's nothing else. Yeah. Oh. Not even change the grading temp. I'll show you the size. Just a, that road wasn't going to continue as far as they should. That's extra money. It's not going at all. That that, that little parking lot's not going to be there either. The back one, then. Right? That one that's to the right with the road going down. That extra parking. And if it's not going to be there, we shouldn't kill it. Yeah, we took that out as a cost. That was like a million dollars cost to do that in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll show up that we will yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to reduce our costs. I just don't want people to be mad if it passes and then we'll when it passes. It's not fair. Where's my role with that? You know someone yeah. will bring it up. Yeah. But this, when we did the presentation at the open house, I had a slide sheet that just stepped through basically history, blah, 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 mm -hmm. one line bullets, and then I just verbalized it. I think we need to have these are nice pictures, but I think we need to have a little bit of substance for bullets on some things to talk about, you know, historically. Maybe we don't. It's this one, I mean, add what you're doing, but I would keep, and I know you want four or five slides with and if you did it, because pictures are just pictures. You can go through them in 10 seconds, in seconds, but. At least they see this up there. I think with the pictures, though, if you had um, the uh, large on, on the easels when they come in, mm -hmm. some of the pictures there, and have the viewing slideshow, you can spread them up that way. In pictures worth a thousand words, right? Yeah. 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 And you just have to put the glasses on to see the easels. <laughs> Do you think we need easels in uh, these posters inside and outside? Just inside. Just inside? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Both where you where you kind of check in to yeah, a different right there. Right. It should be in the lobby. I think the lobby can be in the lobby. We can't let anyone yeah. sit in the rest of it. So yeah. put the posters in the lobby. It's the ones we've had. Any ten ones are okay. Yeah, please draw both. And I think your FAQ release bullets you can probably just condense a little bit. You know what I mean? And then pick out some key ones that you want. Right. So if we keep the four or five slides. I've got these posters hanging around outside. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's some of the pictures too. I mean, you're wrong. I mean, the pictures make into me. You can't mix the slides. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Make sure to show that pickleball card. Of course, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pickleball. Everybody, everybody loves that. Pickleball, well, yeah. Honestly, some, some feedback I did get was when they're thinking about the senior center, and they're saying, well, in terms of the program offerings, ex what are the expanded offerings going to be? And then which sort of um, demographics within quote the senior community are they going to be applicable right so i think the idea of pickleball bocce more active lifestyle are probably things that people do not associate with the senior center today so you've got you know yeah i've got a senior center part of my hearing privilege right dave come on thank you bail that you love being rich hanging they do have yeah. privilege there yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a good, I like these, oh, this picture. I mean, it shows it, and that's a nice area right there. That looks like it's going to be, especially with complaints about the grade. That mm -hmm. looks perfect. Yeah, I think that shot of coming up the hill, the back of the barn building is. Yeah. yeah. And then that I can get that one fixed because I think people like to know where it sits. It's always a question: Where does it sit? Who's house? Right. Yeah. yeah. And then that slide there, we said, you know, we're talking about the day is looking at the community center benefits, community and senior. Oh, and right. that I think that highlights a lot of the features that we have and what we can offer. The biggest thing is we expand it. Today, if you think of a single threaded operation, where you can't do multiple things because you're, you're the hamstrung, because you're reconfigured. And you can't even do a single thing as well. No, it does not. No, we can't. Yeah. We wait. Let's be my multiple. We can't do yeah. a single thing, right? Yeah. I think somebody's going to ask, "How about the staff? They have all this more activity. We're going to need more staff." So the one person can't manage it all. Well, right now they have stuff. they have one part-time person. Yeah. And they have one director, and they have two van drivers, and they have a full-time outreach person. Yeah. 
And then there's a lot of volunteers, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, somebody's going to have to come up with this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, I've got the statistics. How much staff we've got to get and, and sometimes we can't, I mean, I don't go as much anymore because you have too many volunteers and we can't all fit in there. Right. There's all kind of standing there. But you, but you look for veterans. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you, I mean, you some, see. And some of the other that. ones, it's. Peg, I don't have those numbers with me, but wasn't it like 9,000 hours of some huge number of hours? Right. Yeah. Uh, Amy would have to tell you that. I have her stats. Oh, I know I mean, the There's more volunteers I mean, so walking. Yes, yeah. the kitchen. Once you have four people in there, it's yeah. already yeah, crowded. Veterans. I think I felt like we were to John's question though. I mean, a Amy was looking for an increase of to a full time from a part time, right? When, even so with right now, people. Yeah, it's, right it's, it's more of um. As it is looking for an incremental increase, okay. I haven't heard of an increase beyond that. But that would be dealt through the annual budget process exactly. as we go forward, right? But I mean, yeah, incremental increase probably should be expected. We've heard it this year. We'll hear it again next year, depending mm -hmm. on how we handle it this year. And um, I mean, that's that's just a reality. I, I would also say that when you're thinking about the single threaded piece, I don't think people are going to be as interested in the the efficiency gain might be a way of how you're going to be smart about resources, right? But it's going to be what are the offerings and what is the value to the person? The person out there that's not taking advantage of the senior center, unfortunately, probably doesn't care that yeah, it's hard to it. run as it is now, right? No, I, think, I don't think it's so can, reason, rather yeah. than configure it's the number of defense and services. Yeah. Get a simultaneous. I could be doing an exercise class alongside of a mm -hmm. music program. Yep. I could be doing uh, a learning activities or Girl Scouts or Cub Scouts would meet after school rather than the evening. I think we're yeah. also positioned to do things like what Franklin did with that cricket tournament, right? Mm -hmm. They brought towns into their center that paid for cricket tournament. That all went to the senior center. How'd you right. pay school in that tournament? The first year, the second year. <laughs> <laughs> now, we were, we're going to do that. Yeah, I remember Rich got smoked. That's yeah. all I mean. What's we looking for a volunteer to run the cricket tournament? Rich. Yeah, Rich can handle it. You know, so it was Rich. Foxborough just had a Mahjong tournament, and two of our players went down. They paid the admission, and the money did go. Well, they gave out some cash prizes in the end, but the rest of the money did go to the senior center in Foxborough. Yes, yeah, there's. I think there's a lot of things that we can offset operational costs. I think if people I wouldn't vote. I wouldn't, wouldn't focus on it. No. No, I mean, you don't avoid it, but I mean, it's not a key focus, right? It's, it's, you know, no. And that might not even come up, and we build a bigger right. station here, and people would say, well, now you can house 25 officers, how many more you're adding? And right. we still have the same amount we had eight years ago. And the volunteer number, I'll have those numbers with me. I just don't chop and trees down today, but uh, numbers can't. <laughs> but uh, Amy has a tremendous army of people that she supports. I do see a volunteer for uh, uh, the community center coordination. Yeah. We talked about that on the Council on Aging. Designate somebody, and it could be somebody who's working off their taxes. The abatement program. Mm -hmm. We do the coordination between the friends and the Council on Aging and all the activities. Sure. I mean, there's a lot of ways to get to, to get this done, I think, from an operational and mm -hmm. side. But you're right, there could be some increase in staff potentially. Uh, you want to address that? Yeah, I mean, I would, I, I, I think I would say there's potentially increment. I mean, I always worry about volunteers. We, we have a lot of volunteers. You're talking about coordination of a senior community center. There is potential here to say that actually justifies a, an employee of the town to run it. You know what I mean? Somebody works within the, you know, just, I'd be worried because if I keep hearing volunteer, 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 then, yeah, that doesn't sound. You know, I think we've got to be honest to say that's how we that's how we've accomplished what we've accomplished. That's fair. Yeah. Is it is it um, going viable forward. long term? It might be. Might be. But the COA, right. that's kind of the thing. It's like retirees helping out, right? That's where a lot of volunteers well, come from, right? It's like a lot of retirees helping out, like the, the but, lunches. Yes. And so it's it's kind of. Yes. Yes. That's where the volunteer staff kind of comes from. It's people who are tired and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not playing golf. And, Sorry, who is that? Right. It's kind of like Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I hear you. Mike, you retired, right? Um, apparently, I'm playing both. <laughs> uh, but I think 
I think I could I could see an operational piece coming. I, I mean, we talked about it before. I always thought that we had a volunteer coordination and events coordination. I think could be done single person. But again, to Mike's point, that's a phase out. I mean, you, it's two years to build a building. Then you're going to have to settle in like we did here and figure out what do you need? Yep. What are your operational costs? What are your needs? And then figure out if it grows at that point or when it does grow. So and you're, you're, you're very, years very, out from it. We're going to be very mindful, taxpayers of this community, mm -hmm. and how we spend that all-important tax dollar. And I'm just going to go. Yeah. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> <laughs> Much better visual. Yeah. But yeah, that goes down to the, uh, who should be presenters at this thing too. We should all be speaking at the points. From the financial aspect, uh, or from you know operational experience, you know myself, Dave, Peg, there's a lot of us. I won't be speaking at the town meeting. I'll be happy to hold sign. <laughs> you know, I've done my share of speaking already. Thank you. You're doing quite a good. Job. No, I did not. You're doing a marvelous. Job. I do not. Well, as a listener, I agree that you guys did a really nice job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say the rest of the communications committee can step right up. <laughs> but but I think I don't think this is just a one person show up there. I think this is a team goes up there and talks about. Well, that. you have you have Mike. Mike's going to be key. Yeah, yeah. the Mike. architect is going to. And he'll probably have John with him, right? We're going to have. I'm going to bring the uh, Mike uh, Dean. No. Do you he's need the, him to see? He's the the guy who did the groundwork. But is he necessary for for that person for that for the vote? I'm going to just have him in the, in the audience in case. Yes, yeah, for, for an answer. Yeah. An answer. Yeah. Yeah. Not. not I'm not. To be not I got some great questions. I mean, I would even say Mike Petrovic. Oh. I would I would rein rein that back a little bit because the technical details may not be as in important. The now you're, you're selling. The idea, right? Yeah. I think if you put him up there, you could potentially get a lot of questions in that direction, yeah. which may not want to necessarily get into it. That I'd, I'd so want like to make the Right. I mean, that's he's in your back pocket. Right. I think you're you're really selling the need and the benefit, right? Right. The cost is the cost, and cost. you can demonstrate how it's been managed fanatically. I suppose. Mm -hmm. But it's up to the town of Moderated to keep it in control, not right. get off track and yeah. yeah. But also, I think you know a lot of you are m very much known to the public. You are very much known to the public. You know, it's long example, myself, I I'm not known to the public. It's just long I lived in Menden forty five years. Most people don't know me. I don't know. I it mean, may not be a bad thing. I was going to say, I'm not yeah, it's a bad thing. <laughs> no, it is a bad thing because they're going to listen to someone like you. You're talking about emergency <laughs> management. Mm -hmm. like, Mike Delia is talking about construction. You know. But You've been on so many planning things. But you have direct involvement I'm there at the project that we're talking about. I tried to make an attendee, but that doesn't do anything. Direct, direct connection with the senior center. Hmm. Have direct experience on where the issues are. Which we run into. Well, I thought we'd have to see you. Yeah, I'm trying to get the senior center of We're not going to get off on these tangents of right. projects right. and all this other stuff. Is Amy going to have a say in any? Amy will not right. be there yeah. since her daughter yeah. is graduating and she's up in Maine. Okay. She graduates the next morning. Okay. So she, she can't make it. Can Did she zoom in? Yep. <laughs> Special presentation. Yeah. Yeah. Pre-recorded message. She you know, she feels bad, but I mean it is yeah. what it is. Yeah. 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 College of graduation is college graduation. Yeah. 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 It's a biggie. And, uh, I don't know if we need to address that meeting with President. So slides around these. I think from a financial standpoint, Jody can talk her language, or should she be? I'm thinking about how this presentation would flow: multiple presenters, multiple speakers. I don't know if you multiple. No, I don't think you do. You'll lose the attention. Just right. one. Go through. People want to get on with. They're not going to yeah. want to go yeah. on okay. three quarters of an hour. And they questions. might have their mind made up already anyway. Most you might them. want to just have a few people available for questions. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, first one. And then maybe just Mike and you. If you want me to say something too? I don't mind. Yeah, I, I think you should. Okay. I think mm -hmm. you, you know, you were so instrumental in building this, you know. And I don't know how the select board feels. I mean, I don't know if you feel like 
would be in conflict. I don't know. I would um I would ask like, when you've met with boards and committees, have you asked them for any sort of formal vote of support? Well, I asked for park and parks and rec and parks and rec. I would just make a point of that because I see that last yeah. point, even of the select board. I, I believe you probably got it. I think we did. We did get yeah. it. We did yeah. get it. Five of you voted. Yeah. Um, I would Finance think, committee approve it. I think FinCom has to take a, a position. I don't think they have yet. I don't think they have either. Um, but that's a big one. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it means I'm going to go to select me. Oh, it's not on the agenda. Though. I'll check, double check. But I don't think it is. is. No. I, I can't see that being a problem with them telling me the way we're presenting it. It doesn't affect operational right now, you know, with the current vote. And then the way Jody's structuring it, it's saving room for projects in the future. What can you, how can you complain about that unless you just have a personal opinion against it? Well, you're saying if somebody stands up in the finance committee and says the finance committee yeah. approves this, mm -hmm. yeah. and they should. I, just, think I can't see. Not approved. Even if one of you disagree. Yeah. Get the FinCom to vote on it as a group. So the FinCom, I mean, that would be unanimous, but if there's a majority vote, yeah. then the FinCom supports it. Yeah. Supports. yeah. But I mean, their job really is financially look at it and say if it makes sense or not. Right. It's not say, well, I just don't like it. <laughs> it's not like so. we're, yeah. And as far as uh, the group, so. out of curiosity, what do you figure the, your expectation on the turnout at this particular time? I mean, same, 100, 125 people. Yeah, I said, just talked to my wife about that. I said, if they hit 200, it's going to be. That's a big meeting. Our signs haven't gone out though. You know, like next weekend it's going to be a blitz, except on your street. Oh, I said last week. Like but it's going to be the same. forming an opinion, I think. We also know what happens at the town meeting. Does it happen at the ballot box? No. Oh, you yeah. know that. <laughs> the ballot box is a big one. Yeah. 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 people there. And I'm there's fine. absentee ballots, right, that went out? Yeah. Well, we, that's why we need the messaging out. Sooner than later on all the things, including the, uh, the you know the potential impact of the tax. Absentee ballots go out next week. Week the week they after. They haven't gone out yet? No. Okay. That means, we have we haven't printed up yet. That means it's gonna be we're not gonna get a big turnout. We're gonna have to create a turnout because there's nothing contested, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be the turnout. Well we're gonna have to create so no gonna, one's Getting their friends to go to vote for them because it's not. Oh, not we're involved. offering transportation. The um, mm -hmm. the friends are uh, making going to be making phone calls, and uh, I'm already taking two people in my car. I mean, uh, we said we'd give rides. How is the uh, online activity? I haven't checked. It told you. Yeah. They just dead. Really? I haven't yeah. checked. This subject should come up with the candidates tonight too. Yeah. Have a candy tonight. Oh, are they? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Are you hosting that? I don't know. 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 Does that have a base? Oh, when there's a race, usually you'll watch it, but no. What do you want to run for? What do you want to run for? Pick something. Thank you. Thank you. Let's contest something. What do you want to be? Water commissioner? They can't even pronounce it. Reporting. They don't know what it is. Even more interesting. Under the radar. Because right behind the ticket camp. Yeah, yeah, right. And all the skeletons will come out of my closet. Yeah, two positions that don't have the candidate. No, thank you. The seventh that night? What positions? Um, assessors. And, I thought uh, math. Parks. Someone's not running it. Was it? Isn't it Ken and Kevin? Well, it's one of them not running. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin is because I signed his paperwork. So. I think he's yeah. going to have to be a writer. That's why. Oh, yeah. I, I, missed, missed, it. Missed, it. I missed the deadline. Yeah. We're going to make that race. Thanks. <laughs> 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 there we go. We got it. Yeah. Karen. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've got a lot of voters going. Yeah. We could probably, as long as you drag them over to the next one. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. We're going to get as many seniors to go as we possibly can. Yeah. But we also need to get down. I'm reaching out to my younger neighbors. People who are going to get kids in school. Uh, we're going to go to the library. We're going to get a whole different yep, population two, there. Yeah, we're going to the library, and Elena is coming as well. I'm trying to hit the school school committees. I hit two people. They're not re responsible. They're not responding to me yet. I don't, don't know them because they're a different generation. There's still budget stuff, too. So, I mean, as you can see, 
I don't know if anybody's active on the school committees. Are you? Okay. If you have a chance or opportunity to bring it up, there's a meeting. I'll be it's glad tomorrow. Because I put messages on to, I forgot what the guy was. Sean Nicholson. The other one was the. Uh, yeah. What was the, what does he ask? Be glad to come and meet with your committee, give you a complete rundown and how could we cooperate so that. Um, and I, it was kind of interesting, right? I said, my daughter and I were, had a conversation. I, just I said, it's, it's funny how that nobody wants to, the seniors, you believe that seniors won't vote for schools. And the seniors won't believe that the young people won't vote for senior centers. Because priorities. And I said, let's break this. Though. Can we work together so we can both cooperate? I said, maybe. Yeah, I think that's a fallacy on seniors not voting for schools, to be honest. I, I think it's, I've always voted. Okay. I think that, but I, you know, I just, I just try to be nice, nice in a small two cents to that essence. Yeah. Invite me to your meetings so we can give you slides, do your presentation, whatever you like. Yeah, I just, I'm just, if, if I was on the school committee, I'd say, what is, what, what's the, like, what do you expect them to do for this effort? I, I'm still not sure I'm following. Let me get that support, I, though. Just get their support. Elena wants to say something. Yeah. So I was thinking, it might be worth talking to the superintendent and to Jay Byer about the financing, just knowing that the school district is going to have capital needs down the line. Like, I feel like it would be good to have that conversation um, with them, like that Jody brought up about structuring the debt to make room for the for future projects with the schools. And I feel like the sooner we have a conversation with those stakeholders, um, the better. Like. Do a relationship with Maureen and Jay? I can reach out to them tomorrow. Elena, I don't think I know the superintendent's name. I, I I know the one from BBT. Yeah. But oh, yeah. What's her um, name? Wait, stop. Do you remember? Stop. Yeah, it's uh, Maureen. I'm blanking. Sorry. <laughs> Foggy. That's all right. Yeah, I get it. Right. Is it Dr. Cohen, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maureen Cohen. Cohen. Okay. We'll stop it in the notes. Yeah. Doctor. Okay. So if someone could someone could crack into that and start getting the message that we're here to support them, we haven't we haven't robbed every penny that we could find. Yeah. Thinking about not only them but the library and the rest of the folks. Uh, Sean didn't get back to you. I mean, I think right when we get the documents from Jody, the you know the final graphs and that sort of thing, I think those will be really helpful to share with those other. Uh, you know, with the with the school and the library, just knowing that like this is not going to uh, like <laughs> suck up all of the possible debt for the for you know decades to come. Um, so I think I mean I think those documents will be really helpful. Would Would you want to get on a school committee calendar to do, have an official review? That way, you're oh, you, a lot of people. I mean, I think the audience for school committee meetings, Elena. Mm -hmm. Is it maybe broader than the other? So maybe that's the ask is they're trying to get in touch with you, Sean and Maureen, because they would like to present the senior center project to the school committee and thereby to all potential mm -hmm. other stakeholders that might be watching. Mm -hmm. that fair? Very fair. Okay. Yeah. I'll do that. Good. Okay. Thank you, Mike. I couldn't break the code there. I didn't have kids in school, so I missed all that generation of people, committee people. Okay. So I need to turn some slides together, get them out to you guys before the next meeting here, and also dry run on the 24th. You don't want to do a dry run before the 24th? Yeah, when's our next meeting? It'll be the 21st. Yeah, that's, that's Passover. Is anyone Jewish? Or the Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. All right, 23rd, <laughs> the 23rd would, would be two weeks from now. 21st. The 23rd. 23rd. 21st is a Sunday. Right. So are you talking about the next meeting? Yeah. yeah. So the 23rd is um, the FinCom is doing the budget uh, review, the budget hearing at 7. So I don't know. I'm. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we could meet earlier. 
because I know it might be good for some of us to be at the um, FinCom yeah, we'll meeting. Yeah, we could do earlier. Like we could do that. Whatever works. This Although I may also have land use committee. <laughs> Currently, I have That's land use committee scheduled at seven on the twenty third. Mm -hmm. Committee, committee. We can move it up on the twenty third. The twenty third would be our next because today's the ninth, so it's in two weeks. Okay, what else is uh, we'll drag on some slides? I'll work on them on the floor of the beach with next week. Okay, the uh, again going back, I I think we need. I agree with that Petrovic and those guys should be in the audience but not presenting. Fully. No, I think Pet Petrovic should be in the presenter, the main presenter. Main presenter. So, I think so. I don't know. Depends on what you're trying to sell. He did a pretty good presentation for us in general. He did, but that was for a committee who was really hungry for looking at details. I'm just concerned about. I think how we did it. We had Wade Kesselbuso and Mike. I mean, he's good. I mean, that, there's no question about it. He's good. We could maybe, you know, have him as a primary. How far down the list is this uh, item on the warrant? 20. 21 and 22. 21. He said the first 11. First 11. Are we going to move pretty quickly? Yeah. Yeah, one vote. You open up and then get warm with the expanded building. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 36. Hey, look and then came into the cost analysis of what things cost today. And is he the professional in the field? Yeah, and he, can, he, goes, he can leverage the cost us yeah. back to that crowd. crowd to the, maybe talk about how we started with a, you know, a bigger need and brought it down to fit the needs of the community. Okay. So then when we do our dry run, uh, he'll be, I'll ask him to be available. Okay. And I'll chat with him between here and there. I'm just hoping we have more people at the open house. And we're, mm -hmm. we're having it in the evening. So we're hoping that people who are working are going to be able to come. Don't be disappointed. I mean, you know, the police station, we have like three or four. And I don't think any of them had more than 10 people come. Oh. You don't get one. Yeah, we had more than 10 people. But then, you know, it was overwhelming at the, at the town meeting vote. And then the battle was like 700 yes to uh, I don't know. It's the two thirds that's going to be tough, you know. Uh, it's not a no. town meeting. You might count. Yeah, so. I think the um, everything people generally pass it through to the ballot, and then the ballot's where you get Unless you want more than one rooster in your yard, you're good. <laughs> that's the only thing. No roosters. As long as there's no roosters in the sea, it's not good. The OH has that cup. Statue? Or we shall are on it. Yeah. We could put that guy with suit on. Guy that showed up with the chicken suit. So the the select board will introduce the warrant. Right? The moderator does, doesn't it? How does that work? I mean, we we make the motion. Is yeah. that a board? Okay. Put it board? I think it's probably under select board. Yeah, yeah. It might be under CLA actually. Let me ask on the warrant itself. I think Jago, there's a reference to a board. Yeah, that's what we we're just saying. So yeah. is, so that is the considered the presenter of that yeah. article. Yeah. Uh, correct. We read the motion and that's the sponsor. Yeah. Okay. So is that us? Is that the council? Or? Just let us know who needs to do it. I, I was assuming it was the select board. Yeah. Because it's, it's a county building. It's a county It's a county building. That's right. I like that. Come off the I need to make sure support right there. I'm going to be able to get Yeah. I was the only one in the audience. And then we fall into a presentation. Who drives the slide projector? Uh, oh, all right. Well, that's good. Okay. You need to reach out. Somebody told me I need to reach out to Mike Moreau. Not Mike Moreau. Tom. 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 I think so. I mean, okay. there will be a, uh, he'll hold a meeting where he reviews the whole warrant. Yeah. You know, a few days before the okay. for the right. public to join and see what's happening. So he'll probably want you or somebody be able to speak to it on that meeting. But three Joe told me to stay make sure we stay on track. <laughs> I've been in meetings that get off track half an hour and say it's working. 
Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Uh, the only other thing, I, I don't know if I need to put some more slides together, get them out to the table to run the next next meeting. You're on vacation, don't forget. I understand. I'll be back. Enjoy yourself. I will. We're going to visit family, going to visit nobody. So that's a good vacation. Thanks. Everybody needs a vacation. So There's some more warm at least. Uh, going to the Gulf side of Florida, then cut across to Sarasota. That's some 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 key that I have been before. Long book key. But where's the, in your packages? I think I gave you another document, Peg, which I wanted your input on as a handout. This one. Yes. Oh, right Thank you. This joker here. Yeah. What about it? We've got the obsolete trifold around in various places. Yes, it's not this one, though. No. no, it's not this one. But I'm thinking, rather than that trifold, if we have one single document mm -hmm. that we could put at, like I could take it to the barber shop in Mendon because they said they'd post that. Or if we went back to the post office, we put these there instead of the trifold. But the trifold I looked at is pretty old. I'm sure it is, but we didn't have. I know we didn't have anything. So I thought maybe something like this. If the communication group could check this out. Well, that's us. And make sure it's accurate. But I thought it's basically that from that slide deck with a couple of modifications. And say, well, please vote. those are the top two things that you vote for. Right. The emergency center and the food bank. Mm -hmm. Is there uh, somewhere where they're going to see the other documents too online anywhere? Or? I was going to say if you want to put a QR code on that, if there's somewhere else there. Or a point of going. That started a, okay. a www. Uh, Mendon Community, Elena, is that right? The, uh, so we have uh, MendonCenter.com, but Mendon that's for that, that that leads to oh, uh, that's for the postcard project. That's yeah, the postcards will lead there, and then we can link to the town site. But like we can get another, I mean, if you want something that goes right to the town site, we can do another QR code. I'm just saying it's there and saying up at the barber shop, and they want to look at it. Work and yeah, I mean, I think yeah, we could we could talk about like so so far the what's at mendoncenter.com is just bare bones, and this is the one that's uh that's funded by the ballot question committee as opposed to this official town committee. Gotcha. Um, so so far there isn't really anything there right. yet other than the frequently asked questions and a couple of pictures. Um, but like if you know, if, if this is something that we want to like put out to the ballot question committee, the you know the offshoot, okay. we could certainly so do about that also. So you're talking QR code on this. Well, I was just saying you're going to hang it up in different places. QR code, people can snap it, so then they can snap it if they want it. More information about it. Well, no, I think I think that's a good thing because mm -hmm. on the 28th we're going to be at Gallifitz, right? Or maybe yes. I'm getting. Um, yeah, we, we, another event. I know we have another event on the 28th, and we already have stuff for that. That's with the friends, right? Okay. And, and isn't it this committee too? We're we have so many, so many events going on. It's hard to keep them straight, but we have. Uh, yes, we'll be there. You and I are signed up. For yes, but with the friends as well. We. Uh, but if we had this there with some that's what I'm signs saying. with the QR code, but he's saying. David saying that if we're going to put these in prominent locations, have the QR code on it. Am I yes, interested so they, in so they go somewhere? Yeah. Right. How would we do that, Elaine? Well, it depends. I mean, there are, there are sites where you can generate a free QR code. So if you want it to go to the MendonCenter.com, we can. You know, that's that's a, a fast way to put stuff up. But if you want it, it to go to the town website, where I don't think we've really been actively updating the uh, page on the town website. So that would be a good place to send voters to also. Um, questions up there, just so they can get some questions, you know. Is that a good question? So, yeah. Now, Elena, if we wanted to use that. Oh, that's right. That's right. She's got it. OK. She just showed the postcard. OK. The QR yeah. code at the bottom. Yeah. Could we populate some things on that QR code you have there and leverage that? Because this would be. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. I mean, yeah, any. All that's up there now is just, it's a version of the frequently asked uh, questions 
page. And so I think as long as it's clear that that is not an official town website, um, but that this is sort of like the the ballot question committee sort of offshoot. Um, but I mean, we can certainly link to it uh, okay. or like not link to it. We So I don't think the town website can link to it because it's the town website supposed to not be take a position on ballot questions, I think. Yeah. But um, this is this is from promoting the fact that we want this. So we could probably link to you QR code, make sure that we put some more materials there. Well, let's try and do that before we make any copies of it. Right. Yeah. So, so uh, right. So maybe we could. To, at Gallifords, right? Couldn't we hand those out at Gallifords? Sure. That event? Yeah, I mean, there will there there should be postcards left also to give out. We have we we bought I bought candy and they're little shocks, and they're individually wrapped. And on the back, it's I know this, is, and on the back it says we need your vote for a bigger vote. Nice. So we're going to hand those out to That's to nice. the kids. Yeah. Communications group coming along. Oriental trading. <laughs> okay, so Elena, would it be possible to get one of these things with a QR code on it? So, yeah, yeah. A QR so, or mail me a QR code. That's no way you should see what the code. What's oh, that? That's our little picture. Oh, she you can't, can't see, see it. it. She can't see it. No. The document that I sent to you earlier today, page one, that says Mendon Senior vote on May third, May fourteenth. Do we okay. uh, do you have a QR code you can send me that I could just impose on this that takes it to your committee? Or do you want to take this document I sent via email and put a QR code on it and then we can mass print it to hang it? Yeah, in you know, place. I'm not what what's I didn't notice that one. I noticed oh. <laughs> oh, wow. there it comes. Is it there a one page one? Yeah. No, actually oh. it's the PDF one, but I can send it to you as a. Oh, I see. It's I, the big um, right. It's the big PDF. Okay, I see. Yes. So you want to stick a, a QR code in that? Uh -huh. Yeah, and then we're going to put that in a bunch of them. Yeah, so we can we can talk about that. I mean. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's easy to do. Okay. Let's try to chat between uh, the end of the day, between after the meeting till tomorrow night. But I go out of town on Thursday. Okay. She's trying to call our babies. Sorry. <laughs> Just send me a QR code <laughs> that points me somewhere. I don't want to create another one because then we're going to wind up with multiple QR codes. Right. Is, is everybody in agreement then looking at this that these are the prime points that we want to make? I think so. Okay. You probably and, like this. It combines two of those things together on one. Yeah. One paper. And wouldn't these be the, the points of interest that you'd want to talk about then on the floor of the town yeah. meeting? Uh, this really, this is a powerful little note here. Uh, we're not sure about the ADA compliant walking trails, so we remember that. that. We don't want to have something here that we can't. In in. Yeah, that's. We're not sure about yeah. Well, the, there was complaints about uh, the grade and the slope. Right. Even my, I guess my <laughs> position would be is if it's going to be ADA compliant, it's going to address the grade. Yeah, and maybe it costs more, but I mean, it's I would still. So with because I my understanding is we were pushing for that because this would be the first one. In that's a that's the proposed solution now. You can have slopes. I mean, it, it, right. even if it's a big slope. What they'll do is they'll cut in like this way, then they'll cut in this yeah. way, then they'll cut in that way. They'll well, put a slope on the slope to right. I mean, over it. That's that snake approach that we were talking about. All right. So I'm okay with this saying that this is there's a consultant, the CPA funds are going to support a lot of this development. The consulting looking at ADA capabilities there. Our goal is to have an ADA. Yeah. That's your goal. That's your goal. If it's impossible, then yeah. okay. If but it's I mean, farmland, there's not a lot of pledge. They are actually yeah. unbelievably so. I mean, it's yeah. not hard to do if it's not ledge. When they did the tennis balls, they, did they test for septic though? They do a septic test. They did a perk. They didn't do a perk. Test. Perk's going to come in the summer. They didn't do a perk test. It was too, it was too, too bad. Bad. Okay. 
They did soil evaluation. The guy was impressed with the sandy soil, so he thought it'd be a good for uh, septic. But they, he's going to park it in the summer. Yeah, I just asked. If they yeah. Yeah. And those guys who parks, um, yeah. that's, who I, that's, yeah. that's a main job. But, okay. I'm going to ask a question that's completely probably irrelevant to this, but I noticed one of the emails you sent me. Somebody contacted you about they're going to start building on the corner of 16 and North Avenue. Someone sent you something about yes. that. I wanted to clarify Dylan, that. I think is the person. What is it? Dylan, who is our planner, yeah, is working with a company who's building or proposing some architectural work on the corner. Yeah, it's going to be submitted. Oh, all right. So you'll know more about that then. Do you have any idea well, what it is? Bank, but I'm not saying. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be a bank. And they go trees. Across from uh, Charles River. Mm -hmm. Can't have enough banks in town. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> People got a lot of money in the town. <laughs> Dylan put out the request if we had any information we could share about the architecture or what it like things. And where the roads were going in, I think that was another point. Well, that, that might be what they hid the discussion, but. I sent her our general talking document here, and I said I'd be encouraged whoever's doing that to work with us, sure. see what we could do, make sure it's a start. Okay, opportunity for collaboration. Mm -hmm. Collaborate, another collaboration. <laughs> but yes, so Dylan is uh, part of our town planning team, I guess. Sorry, just talked to it today. Did you see that too? I did see it. I saw where it was in my emails. I saw that. So maybe John, you'll have some information maybe in the next meeting. You'll tell us after no, they no, submit it. Yes, I can't say. Okay, no, no, that's right. after they submit it. What? After they submit it. Yeah. It's public knowledge. Yeah. And it's got to look as good, if not better, than that. And when the what, next meeting? Monday. Oh, oh, the 24th. Oh, the 24th. 22nd, I think. Okay. Do you guys zoom your meetings? Yeah. Is it one? But it's the only person. Yes. Okay. Sure. Okay. okay. And it's Kevin, right? Kevin's doing that project over there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What other things do we need to worry about for communication getting the message out? We've got the school committee, which is a big, big one. Well, you and I went to the library and we talked to both right. Tara, you know, and um, Andrew. yeah, and Andrew Wright. And uh, one of the things we brought up thinking outside of the box a little bit is uh, in Bellingham at their town uh, center, yeah. they have this uh, these books. They're inside of plastic plexiglass things and right. the kids walk through the trail and they read each page of the book. And Tara was saying, oh, we had been wanting to do that. And I said, well, this would be a good collaboration between us because we're going to have the walking trails in this way. And, and the library is just up the street, you know, so. Uh, I think they should have an annex in the community center, a small apartment, some books and shelves that the library procures for in the senior center. You do have that reading area, right? That we had in hand. We do have a reading we area. We changed it to call reading area because it was called library before. Mm -hmm. It might change that. You're thinking that's good. Even though Clough School is across the street, you're still thinking that's people not, would actually come and take the books out. No, I'm thinking for well, if I'm if I'm a regular at the senior center, right? Would I want to would it would it be beneficial to me to be able to get uh, library materials, content? Don't stop shopping. I'm going to the senior center. Would it be just some level of procurement that Andrew and team could do to populate? I call it an annex, but it's sort of a, mm -hmm. you know, there. And that way, people that are going to the senior center don't necessarily have to go down the street to the library, et cetera. I wasn't thinking about. Uh, well, he's looking for more staff too in hours and things. I don't know if that's something that. Uh... Yeah, this is not a big ask. <laughs> if he asked for more hours on that, I'd be like, really? <laughs> really? Yeah. And it's 17 hours. And plus, we have the Eagle Scout guy that's building those boxes. So we're going to have that, too. But I don't, know. I, don't, I don't think I'd bring that up at the town meeting. What? What I just said? Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, unless, unless you're to demonstrate from a community standpoint, you've got more synergies across, you know, 
we build a library, we build a senior center, we build a police station. Well, we're starting to see some cohesion and synergies across these, the community. We're going to have to get that workout for Dave and his guys. Right. right. That's a top line. That'd be great yeah. having a workout room. What are you guys thinking? You're on the community. Okay. I, I, I like the uh, like the concept, and I don't think it would be actually that much of an issue to to create that. Well, look at the, you go to the senior center now. You've right. got books on shelves. Yeah. Yes. Right. All I'm suggesting is why not have the content more professionally curated by our, the professional librarians we have in town? To, you know. So the, it would be the librarian coming to the senior center. Possibly. Yeah. I mean, don't don't get caught up in the details. Mm. <laughs> it's collaboration. It's a vision. It's a thought, but it's a thought. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the interesting thing we're trying to do here, though, to the senior community center is really take a look at the whole community. Where can it add value? We looked at it on the financial end. We're saying that, okay, we don't want to be greedy and take all the money to town. We want to make sure we have a good balanced budget the best we can. Finance came up with a good plan, we accepted it. So we're working to help other teams. We're looking to get a community focus of younger people, working with Park and Rec mm -hmm. to get some recreation in this town, which we don't have a lot of. We have their support. We have their support. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to the Historical group. You did, yes. And uh, there was mixed. We had, you know, some of people who said, that, you know, "What about the schools?" And that's fine. That was their mission. And I accepted that. And I said, "I always vote for schools anyway." But speaking of parks and rec, the uh, the ask we talked about with John, what people might ask about operational. Um, We'll probably ask about repurposing of the whole building. Right, I'm sure that will right. come up. So yeah. knowing that Parks and Rec and Highway mm -hmm. be a good little segue. Yeah, we will be starting. We will be starting the, if passed, and successful, we will start a reuse committee immediately by the select board. So I mean, you can say there's been interest money. No money's allocated to a study committee oh, through been. the capital plan, right? Okay, that's true. And there is some downside save. There's some savings by reusing a, a perfectly good building. It's not going to sit there. That's a good point. We're going to get all kinds of squirrely questions. We'll just do the best we can. You might be surprised. I don't think you're going to have a lot of questions. Yeah. I think you're going to be fine. Yeah. You have a few questions. You don't have a lot. I think you'll be fine. Because people are going to get sick when they're going to say, let's move on this question. <laughs> well, that's true. That's true. I've done it myself. I've spent a day and say, make them all to know we move on this question. Because you ask the same questions five times. Well, that's true. <laughs> now, what else is controversy before us? Sequence, right? It's not big really, right? Yeah. No, this, this is, is controversial. controversial. This, this, is big, this is almost binary. Like, do, do we, do we, you've done your due diligence. Yeah. Yeah. Is the price tag to it? Are you against it? And, a lot of people defer on that because well, I'm alone in the ballot as opposed to hitting the button when everybody can see me. Maybe they can't see. They me. can't see what you're right. doing. So I think I think it, I think it moves on the floor. I think I think we put a senior next to every person. T-shirts. <laughs> and have them doing this one. That person. <laughs> what button? <you're> <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't think you're gonna have a lot. I just maybe I'm wrong. It's something that's gonna be a lot of controversy. Though. I think you'll yeah, you'll, yeah. probably. Maybe. Yeah. Let's show the uh, the senior center. Yeah. Beginning about you know have yeah. come. Mm -hmm. Out of out of curiosity, what has been the feedback from that particular group on, on this? The feedback at the friends meeting. We were at the friends meeting, and uh, it's very positive. It's very positive. That was maybe. 25, 30 people clap. Yeah. 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 And they I didn't hear a negative. No, no. I think they're all for it. And you know, they know that if they come there, they better bring their toothbrush because they're gonna be there for a while. <laughs> um and we're offering transportation. Uh Wayne Phipps has offered to drive for free, not on his hours, and take the van. That's I think seat to 10 or 11. Yeah. And some of us our, our cars, our private cars, we yeah. said we'd take people. So, I mean, we're going to do everything we can to get them there. And they need to up a sign up list down the scene. Next question is how to get people. To yes, we did. So we to if they need a ride, or if we're going to provide a ride, we have a list down there. It's always tough. What's it on a Tuesday? Right? It's always on a Tuesday. 
What's that? The 40th? Yeah, it's on a Tuesday. Or the yeah, it's the 14th of May. <clears throat> sense of the that group of people, if how many of them might be getting a ballot in the mail? I think a lot to tell you the truth. That's probably a good thing. Because you know, it takes the getting them to the mm -hmm. poll. Yeah. Is that town meeting on the 14th at seven o'clock also? That's all day. That's a ballot. It's a ballot. It just goes oh, oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you can go in whenever you want. Yeah. Town meeting is 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Yeah, if, if, they, if you know, they may get something in the mail without realizing it. I'd keep it easier, right? They get in the mail, they can just vote for it without showing up. You say. I forgot the date of ballot was going to go out. We probably need to circle back. Elena, do you remember when the ballot's going up? So the, I, uh, Ellen mentioned she was thinking she would start sending them around the 16th. I mean, that I think the ballots are maybe getting printed now. Um, this was a, the date that she talked about for sending the ballots out to get printed. So then they need, I guess there's another week turnaround before she actually gets the ballots. And then she plans to start sending them out as soon as she can, because there are, last I talked to her, there were over 850 mail-in ballot requests, and it's going to take them a while to get all those um, and Len, if we packaged think about, and mailed. We should confirm with Alan that she did get all the language discussed in last week's meeting. We should, yes. <laughs> yeah. We'll do that yeah, tomorrow, yeah. Okay. A lot of mail events. Yeah. It is a lot. It's, people it's, usually vote. Well, I think we'll, there was a, uh, an option to say for every election. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, and we uh, we just check that box without realizing they're going to get one. They're going to get back. They're going to see it. But that, that's something from a, you know, a targeting standpoint. You probably, if, you, if you get a ballot, you can use that. Right. Exactly. That's not harvesting. That's just a good thing. Bill's going to be the post office getting all. We have cameras about that. So glad we were recording. Who's the guy? Yeah. 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 Quick question. They're going to get the ballot before we go to annual town meeting? Yep. Uh, yeah. Great. Yeah. Un uninformed voters. That's just what we need. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's part of why uh, we're going to try to send out as many postcards as we can, or at least the, the ballot. Committee. Ballot question committee is going to send out postcards. Um, but yeah, it's it's going to be important to get the information out as early as possible. Um, I mean, one thing is that the ballots don't have the the price tag on them. Right, so the, the ballot language did, does not have a number. So hopefully that will make people ask and not just, you know, have a knee jerk. No reaction. Yes, they should. Think so. Okay. Lonnie, any thoughts about getting communication out there further? Good ideas to do door to door. No, it sounds like sounds like it's 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 going pretty good. The best you can do. I mean, short of taking the ballot list and going to each person's house and sitting down and talking to them about it, you know. Hopefully they. I mean, I I, how, how do you, I don't know how you vote yes or no without knowing anything about the whole situation. That's ridiculous. But but yeah, that's what how voting works these days, I guess. So it's, you get what you get. Lonnie, are you on North Avenue? Yes. Okay. Would you like a a, um, a sign to put out in your front yard? Yes, absolutely. Okay, and somebody told me, I don't know if this is true or not, your brother bought that piece of land on the corner of Bates and Route 140? My brother and I did, yeah. Okay, can we put a sign there? Yeah. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you a lot. It's a good business. Well. Do you have any more visible properties? Good <laughs> <laughs> question, yeah. No, uh, not, my... <laughs> <laughs> not yet anyway. Well, you got those two houses on North Avenue. Let's we'll see how many signs we have left after. No, there's only one. I only have one of those houses on North Avenue. The other one is not. Oh, all right. Okay. 
I have, by the way, in my car signs. Right, because uh, I asked Mark and he yeah. said he pointed to those. Yeah, I still have two in my car to deliver, but I would have given them out to me. Yeah, I don't want to think that we probably want to start delivering them yeah. when I'm gone. Yeah. So maybe I'll, so you, take, you, I'll take six of, of those signs. I, I, right. I, can, I, I can get rid of six, no problem. I might even right. need more. I'll start with six. Okay. Lonnie, you want to pick them up at the senior center? I'm going out of town, sure. so. Yeah, that's that's totally fine. Or yeah, yeah, that's fine. Actually, if you, you can go in whenever you want to, because they're right at uh, Julie's desk. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. All right, good. Okay, I I we're just beating a bunch. Of, I take a couple probably. Okay, great. Right. I gave you one yesterday. I know, but not count those. Okay. I'll count them. All right, we'll take two other friends. Josh, <laughs> friend. <Yeah. laughs> Well, North Patrol, that's a, you know, that's a widely traveled. They said they were on North Patrol. Oh, where are they going? <laughs> yeah. He's not telling who his friends are, either. That's right. <laughs> uh, All right. Um, so anyway, I have signs in my car if anybody wants to grab a couple more. The rest of my signs, in fact, I'm going to drop off. Yeah, drop them. I'll be there all day tomorrow. And then I'm we going have to. We should volunteer appreciation thing. Oh, I'll be there at the time. I have nothing else for the meeting. Anybody new business? Any thoughts? We rambled a bit tonight. I apologize for that. I just got a couple of things for you. Oh, great. Chris, as a continuing trying to find grants, I met with MEMA last week uh, actually to try to get um, what they call a pre disaster mitigation grant for the current senior center's generator. And it would be the ideal project for them, except we're not going to see the money until next year. So, um, we kind of put that aside and I said, OK, well, what about getting one for the new senior center that is being proposed? And again, it's a good project for that type of grant. But until it's built and approved and they actually start construction, they won't even talk about yeah, it. Yeah, you so, mentioned the grant right. situation. Yeah. There. You need, I don't, don't want to allocate funds if it yeah. pass. When is the deadline? Like yeah. if you have to apply. It already passed. Oh, I was going to say for yeah, pre-disaster pre mitigation. Next, yeah. Let's wait till next year. But if they dedicate it to you, then we can't re-dedicate it to somebody else. That's good for the next year's budget. Then we'll tie it up. Yeah. Um, and then, what else do you have for us? The other thing is um, I put a one-page document together on the history of um, the shelter um, taken right out of the 1993 uh, annual report uh, and how it was created. Uh, the, the select board started it with the fire chief uh, how they wired the senior center uh, to put a generator there, and then how it was created into a senior center, uh, even the Red Cross coming out and all that. It's just available if anybody wants to read it. Uh, I sent it to the chief for him to. Um, just a little history. Yeah. That's not a bad piece that we should have around somewhere. On our, once we get a. Once we get through some of these things, we really need to organize some of this data, but that might even be something. For historical reasons, mm -hmm. talk about disaster recovery. And it could go on this site that we want to just put some stuff, populate some stuff. Yep. It, it's just a simple one page document, it has all the info. And it's actually the excerpts right from the town report, uh, how they even the names of the streets that are different today. <laughs> yes, can you send it to all of us? Yeah, That's good. Absolutely. Good. Yep. Okay. That's it. Anything else? Okay. I think, I'm going to. I think uh, yeah, let's close the meeting. Oh. Right. Yep. Make a motion to adjourn. Yes, second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.